I just um, made an appointment to get the battery replacing my iPhone 5s. I'm just not one of those people who jump on like the newest things that are out and I'm not feeling real psyched about this iPhone 7. Hey citizens, I'm on my way to the orthodontist and I have a dentist appointment later today. I'm telling you right now, I have been sick for two weeks. If it wasn't allergies and sinus issues, it was the cold that was going around that everybody was getting. And if it wasn't that, then I had like major chest congestion, like an upper respiratory infection. So needless to say, I have been at a commission forever and so when I sat in front of the camera to tell you this, it just wasn't coming out, it wasn't clear. I, I look miserable. And <laughs> on top of that, I was already depleted just from going back to school. And my job is 10 times, no, not 10 times. Let's just say this, remember the Fitbit challenge I've been doing? I've been doing really well, but in the summer I was at eight I was averaging around seven to eight thousand steps per day. Let's just say now I am averaging fifteen to twenty thousand steps on any given day. Um, it, well, I'll just say this: any given work day. On the weekends, it's hit or miss. Still, probably still around eight thousand, nine thousand steps. But my body has taken a hit. When I say athletes train and their bodies are sore, like my body is aching. And on top of that, I've been working out with my personal trainer go sore shaping up with Shayla I'll link all her information below um, it's just been crazy busy and I've taken on an assistant coach position an assistant dance coach coach position and that is more time consuming as well needless to say no not needless to say on top of everything else I think I'm crazy because there's not a moment that I'm not supposed to be doing something or I'm behind on things. So I have to apologize from just the beginning of school year. I just did not know how difficult it would be to transition. I didn't think it was gonna be like, come in, go 150%. That's what it feels like, 150%, which is crazy high. So, I'm just lucky to even be able to give 100% right now and I'm not even sure if anything is going to die down at all, at all, this is crazy. So I'm going to take this weekend and this weekend I'm actually in a wedding to just really prioritize everything and look at what I can really do because Overwhelmed is written across my forehead. You know the worst thing about being sick aside from just feeling miserable and feeling like you're about to die and you're on your deathbed? Uh, when your phone is about to die. I realized that my battery in my phone was horrendous, especially when I was calling for help. Um, it would get to 45% and just completely shut off. So I just um, made an appointment to get the battery replacing my iPhone 5s. I'm just not one of those people who jump on like the newest things that are out and I'm not feeling real psyched about this iPhone 7. I don't even care. The fact that it took the head jack out. The speaker thing is cool, but I'm just not feeling all stoked about that. So I'm trying to hold on to this iPhone 5s before it just, you know, goes, goes off. I'm trying to save this coin. And when I think about it, I feel like anytime they do these updates, they make all the older phones feel even more obsolete and they don't work the same. Are y'all feeling me on these citizens? If you do, comment below if you have an iPhone. It's not that I'm like a mad iPhone Apple user. I just want my phone to stay on. That's my only requirement. I want it to stay on, connect to, to Wi-Fi, and let me do what I got to do so I can get out of emergency situations. <laughs> Can't talk right now. I got my braces tightened today, so yeah, they're, they're feeling real good. I'm almost really ready to get this stuff done. It's about to be off in like maybe two months. I mean... This is like the second time I've ever had braces. And the only reason why I have these again now is because 
my retainer broke and they shifted some so wear your retainer keep wearing your retainer your teeth just remember where they they remember where they were and they want to go back to being snag a tooth basically um yeah but going back to the iphone i made an appointment at batteries plus and i've never really used that service i try to go to any mobile repair shop that i can but with batteries plus you can make um, an appointment online so i'm gonna go check it out i was gonna try to do it myself but if i do what i do at my house it means I break stuff first, and I'm not trying to break the phone. <laughs> not yet. Can't do it. <laughs> I have so much stuff to update you on. It is crazy. Hey, have you been wondering about certain things? Like, go ahead and comment below because there's a lot of things that have been going on um, with the election uh, campaigns and just YouTube in general, always up making updates and freaking people out. Let me know. I want to be part of the conversation too. All right, I'm here at the dentist, citizens. I left the orthodontist a couple uh, hours ago and got my phone battery changed. And it wasn't at Batteries Plus because they were unorganized. It was at another place called Digital Doc, and they were fast. So I'm going to use them again if I ever need any, well, if I ever have any issues. So I'll use Digital Doc again if I have ever have any issues. I can't talk now, but I got to go into the dentist. And one of the things my mom always told me is like when you go to the dentist, make sure that you brush and floss so they're not picking all this stuff out of your teeth. So I'm getting my teeth clean and I'm getting my crown uh, retightened because it keeps getting loose. So um, going in. That's Canadian Queen, 76 dude. Go and find it exclusively on YouTube. Oh yeah.